genesis of the script began with a pitch that was uh, with the producers before I came along. Master Jewel Thief steals a priceless diamond in a very elaborate heist, and uh, on the way out of the building that he's stealing the diamond from, the police arrive, um, and he runs into a construction site. Before the police can catch him, he hides his diamond, and then they catch him, arrest him, take him to prison, and then cut to, it's now three years later, and he goes back to that construction site only to find that it's a brand new police station that's just opened up. So what I did was a really uh, page one rewrite. And so the essential quality we needed in an actor, aside from being hilariously funny, was somebody being really likable and endearing and charming. It was almost like it was written for him. Uh, the first draft of the script really had a, had a voice for him, and he read it and loved it. Action! That was a very funny script, and that uh, we finally got Les Mayfield attached. You can't mark. Second, and... Beat camera mark. Action, Luke! Detective Malone, talk to me! Go! Take two steps back! Go bang! I like the, the, the contrast between the comedy and the real hard action. Hold it! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! It's okay? Yeah, yeah! Okay, step out, step out, really, and... Shit! Beautiful! Yeah, right. <laughs> Wes and I worked for a long time on the script before he started shooting. And it's, it's really been a great collaboration. Dave Chappelle wasn't going to be on the set most of the time. He started out with a one-day role in this film. Tully was just this guy who came in and out of the film. And it was similar to the situation with Martin. When, when everybody read the script, it just seemed like the part was written for Dave Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, we're cool, man. Good. Cool is good. Are you smoking? No. Negative. Uh, you're lying, Tully. I smell the menthol up here, man. Now cut it out. You're lying to me. What would your mama do if she knew you were smoking, Tully? When I read the script, I was happy, like, oh, this is a good part. It's a strong script. It was like the situation was, was rich, but, you know, we make it our own. Because Dave just came in and, and just knocked us over. He's so funny, he's so original, and he's so unique. And with Martin, it's just, it's incredible. The two, and the two of them together, it's just, it's just they're very, very funny. Duh, you cannot let me arrest you and keep the gun, Tully. Now, come on, please. It's not like I can improvise something and throw Martin. Martin. If I say something that's not in the script, Martin, he's going to be right there, he, you know. And, and vice versa. It was kind of like we were dancing. It was great. Hey, man, I just got this, man. This is hard to find. Yeah, it's hard to find, but damn it, you're going to have to get up the gun, okay? Now, what you want to do, Tully? Okay, you going to give up the gun, or you want to have him put about six or seven bullets in your ass, man? Okay, because you ain't going to make it out of here alive, man. Not not on this one. No, not on this one. All right, all right. No, no. Got to do it a different way. You can't just hand it to me. I got to snatch it from you. I got to take it from you. Okay? And yeah, this is going to hurt a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Martin and Dave were so funny together in the initial scenes we shot that the studio had us go back and had me write new scenes for them. I think it's the most intelligent thing we did in the film to say, okay, wait a minute, look at, wait a minute, look at Dave, look at Martin together, they're really funny. How do we put Tully, who's his character, in the movie more? Where do we find more opportunities for Tully to be in this film? So the, the film will have much more of Dave in it than the Tully character ever was written for. Oh, but Dave is an inspired guy. He just comes in and finds comedy and just knocks it out of the park. The only point of view I had was to be annoying to Martin. Like, make this guy annoying. If you're in a tense situation, the guy who's confused, what? what's happening, what's going on? That guy's pretty annoying, and that's, that's kind of what I tried to be. You guys meet here, you shuffle him out. I'll, I'll take two steps back. 
Detective Malone! You okay? We needed to find somebody to be Miles' partner. I need uh, requesting help. Who do we get to be that straight guy? The contrast, the, 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 the you know, the Jimmy Stewart. Good. Yeah, okay. look great. I mean, the window did. Right? Carlson's so important because he's, he has to, A, he has to go toe to toe with Martin the entire movie, which is very difficult, but at the same time, he needs to be a contrast to Martin. He can't be just a comedian. I mean, Luke does it without effort. He just comes in and he's, he, he's himself. He's just really, and he's, he is very funny, but he has his own style, he's his own, his own way, and they're, and they're so different, it makes him so compatible. Good, very nice. Good, very nice. Right. And I, just, I love watching the two of them together. Because Martin's over here, Luke's over here, but they're perfect together. I'll take these. You know what to do with these? Sure, I do. Okay, great, sir, sorry. That was uh, definitely daunting to be around guys who are, are that funny. I'm not in competition with these guys. These guys are comedians. That's their specialty. That's their strength and their talent. I, I got this. I got this. Are you crazy? I, I got it. <laughs> Obviously. And I was playing the straight man. It's not like uh, I could always take solace in the fact that, well, you know, Carlson's not like supposed to be sharp. You know, he doesn't have to be right there with them. Put the gun down and come on out. Who <laughs> sort of character you see? You know, he just, he's a laid-back kind of person, you know. But he can get out there and he can play ball with you. He can do all the things you they all loop. You can't play no ball. You can't. But he can. He's, he's good. He's a he's cool dude, man. I had so much fun with uh, just hanging around with Martin and uh, spending time with him. Just really good guy, kind guy. And Martin's just could not be funnier. It was just really a dream to get to work with somebody that I really liked so much. Well, William plays the third person in, in, the, in the triangle. He's like the very straight, hardcore cop. And he also provides a grounding in a scene. And he just gives it a real foundation. And by being straight, he's very funny. And surrounded by Martin and Luke, it's just a perfect combination between the three of them. He, he's wonderful. Deacon is Peter Green. This type of movie, an action comedy, I believe is often judged by its villain. And you have to have a great villain or, you, or the whole movie falls apart. And I think we found that with Peter Green. He's intimidating, he's intelligent, and he's believable. And that was when we, when we found this guy, it's like, okay, finally, we got, we've, got our, we've got our bad guy. And in order to, you know, you have to have a great bad guy or your movie falls apart. In this genre, you have to have a great bad guy. And Peter is just absolutely perfect for it. He is tough. One thing I like about Les is that he's not afraid to get 28 takes if that's what what it takes you know if, if, if 20 of you know 20 your way and eight his yeah. way then then we, you gain composure quickly they just okay. like surprise him just like wow flare out and come back i don't want to take 12 pick up a camera really mark <laughs> You know, shit like that. Great, great then. Uh, are there any uh, questions for Detective Long? <laughs> Les was all for like improvising and adding and uh, he was just fun to work with and a uh, really good director and good at kind of moving things along and getting you to kind of add things in or seeing what worked or what didn't. Action. That's where you have to have the courage to go and find different ways of looking at it and making sure you don't walk away unless you've, you know, really hit the walls. I know, because we're not going to tolerate this shit. It's going to stop somewhere. <laughs> Very nice. Right, it's good. Good. And I'm glad that they gave him that leeway to do that. Third floor north to protect. Ah! Ah! Damn it! Ah!
<laughs> you gotta have a good director on a comedy set. You gotta have somebody that's gonna let the comedy happen and, and facilitate it without, uh, you know, stifling anything. And Les was just good like that. He was really good, and I trusted him. I said I'd do it, but I'm, I'm keeping my gun. I just got this. So you man. cannot. Let me arrest you and keep the fucking... To me, it's important to have an environment where people are having a good time. Where they come to work, and when you're making comedies, people are having a good time. I think it just, it just somehow is obvious. How you doing? All right. Bop. Bop. <laughs> you know, sometimes in these comedy movies, you can go too big. You cannot be big enough. Unless it's good with just, you know... Mm -hmm. But without, without uh, forcing you to do it one way or the other, but just bringing a good performance out of you. Yes, sir. Let's uh, uh, try one. Tightening up. Just a little less. And that's that's. I think it's part of my job is to make it to make it a fun place to come to work and making sure that people you know feel that they are in a place where they could you know be funny. Action, Luke. Take him alone. I'm coming in. Good. Cut. Very nice. Yeah. Good, good. It's like just one of those sets. Sometimes you can't wait for the day to be old. Other times they say, hey, can you stay longer? And you're like, yeah. And then Blue Streak was definitely like one of those yeah moves. Because as you're shooting it, it feels right. It feels like this is going to be fun. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I love stand up comedians in movies, especially in comedies. They bring a real you know, just attack attitude to, to, to the set. It's like, we gotta make it funny, we're, gonna, we're not gonna stop, and we're gonna try it until it works. You can say, yeah, I got your pizza, you know? Pizza oh, man! Mr. I'm <laughs> got your pizza! Good. Pizza We've man. all been pizza impressed man. with just how aggressive Martin has been, you know, not only with his comedy, but just uh, really prepared in really great shape and really putting his heart into making a great movie. So I can be, I can be. As far as physical, I can be big. I was yeah. good. Yeah, yeah no, it's fantastic. Right. Mikey! Had to tell. It's that kind of boldness, it's that kind of, of, of just combat that you can go out and attack something that I like. And when we talk about a scene and we talk about material, it's like, okay, let's attack this. And he knows how to do it. He knows how to attack material like he goes out, like he would go out and, and entertain an audience in a stand-up routine. He basically uses what I do as a launching pad, and he just goes on from there. Every take is different. Um, Les is going to have a difficult time choosing between takes because everyone just gets funnier than the next. Hi, how are you? Is this really a police station? Thank you. How are you, ma'am? Is is this really a police station? Yes. Yeah. Is this really a police station? Of course. <laughs> you can design that. You can you can storyboard it, you get it all right, you get all the technicians and you do it, but it's keeping the characters, and specifically in our film, keeping the comedy in the action. I think that's where the trick is, is how a car crash in itself isn't very funny, but with Martin Lawrence behind the wheel being Miles Logan, it takes on a new character. It's a, it's a way to further the story. Are you in a hurry, sir? No. Just testing your car. We always were aware that even though there's action in the story, it's a comedy. And so he plays it that way. I mean, he, he can't help himself. Put the gun down and come on out! Hold it. Hold it. Take it. Take it. Ah, take it. Are you crazy? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm going in. What are you doing? I'm going in. Take it. Hey! Right. He can do things with his body and with his facial expressions that not many humans can do. And I just love that when he just 
popped around that corner. That was just a little piece of magic and just a little piece of posture that I thought was just perfect. And Martin is a great physical comedian. He's great verbally, but also I think he's been underutilized with his with his physical aspect, his physical comedy. And I think we've captured some really great, funny body language in this movie. There's a different discipline in front of the camera than on stage as far as stand-up. And but he does, he entertains me, and I, I think he enjoys looking over and make sure, okay, yeah, this is working. Hey man, I don't know. You know. Take after take, it gets you lose track sometimes, and where a, a comedian has immediate reaction to his jokes, and then the, you know, making a movie, it's eight, nine takes, you know. It's a different thing, but he's very bold and he's very brave, and as I said, I just love that ability to want to attack the material and say, okay, we're gonna make this funny. So if he's just walking this way and you, it, 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 uh... In front of you or behind you? Behind, because it's okay, good, 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 good. Just walk around. It's really reaching and seeing where the top is, seeing where, what are we missing? What aren't we getting? What aren't we, what can't we squeeze out of this scene that uh, isn't on the page or isn't apparent? And that's where Martin, he's just so bold and brave to try things. It's like, okay, yeah, we can do that. Let's give it a try. Excuse me! And that's, that's just takes, it takes trust and it takes just real courage. Like sometimes I do movies with these actors and these guys are real intense. Very, very intense. Head snap forward and then you're gonna crumble out this way. Very specific approach, like a comedian would have to his comedy. More important than anything is this, I need to turn totally and around. And we can totally do that. So what he's gonna do is when you hand me the gun this way, when he pulls it, spin towards camera that way, he's wham! <laughs> Because I was never hurting Dave Chappelle. I was always, I, I barely really had my hand on him. So I picked this, then it don't look as, you know, too hard on him. It's gonna hurt a little bit. What? I say it's gonna hurt a little bit. All right. Oh! <laughs> But he's just, he's just such a good guy and such a likable person or whatever. You feel bad to even be having a fight scene with him or anything like that. I say it's going to hurt a little bit. But the movie called for it, it had to happen because here we were, two criminals, you know, one criminal trying to teach another. And uh, just made for funny comedy. Well, I tell you, like, when, when he was beating me up, the thing when he, he grabs my ears at one point, that was all. <laughs> That was all Martin, man. But he was nice to me. He didn't hurt me too bad. Scene 38, take one, see camera on late. I may have a thought process where it comes up in my head, but I initially go to them and run it, bounce it off them, and, yo, what do you think about this? And Martin, you know, I got an idea. I'm going to do this old school character. Oh, what the hell's an old school character? I'll show you. Martin came up with uh, the teeth, the hair, the... Uh the glasses, the suit. When he came out of the trailer with his teeth and wig and suit and padding, and it was very funny. I know your brother, Martin. Yeah, who's that? Martin, you, you, yeah, he's a you know, nice guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he's talented. Yeah. 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 So what you, what are you doing in the scene today? How about you can't oh, park you know, a little scene where we come and carry a little piece. I'm really excited about it because it's like my um, movie debut. I know. And I had never been in the movie, so I know, you know, I really I want to thank you for the opportunity. Excellent. Excellent. It just was, it was very funny. He came in on the set and he was a different character. You know, he's able to transform himself into these roles, and I, I, I just, I think it's amazing. Uh, in fact, he even wore those uh, teeth in the reading when we first sat down together and read the script. He actually had the teeth, he already knew what he was going to do. Now they want to do a movie with Ghetto Buck. I'm baffled. Oh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hot pizza coming through, hot pizza. We got to get the police officer and that pizza. They got the protracted serve for police got to eat. <laughs> Oh shit, that's a cold shot. Pizza man, here to deliver the pizza, thank you. Officer, I got your pizza! I like that. It takes a brave guy to say that. <laughs> right, when I look at it, I, I, and I'm out, right, right, right. You see it in this film, that damn, they look like they're having fun, or it, this movie seems to move. I like to laugh. I just like that. I like that experience of going to a theater and laughing. Just and to watch other people laugh at something 
had something to do with makes me it, it, it's a real smile just to sit in an audience for the first time with with the movie and see people laughing with it it's really great this was a long time coming from martin lawrence you know that he was just truly truly having fun in a movie <laughs> When people leave, like laughing and talking, and that's exciting to me to think about people leaving a movie I worked on, like in a good mood or in a better mood than they, than they went in on. I hope people stop calling me Chris Rock. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I get tired of it. You know, hey, we both skinny and black, but it ends there, baby. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, to my crew and my. <laughs> <laughs> Cast to Blue Street, hey, amen. Stay up. <laughs> All right. Ready? Two, three, yeah. and action. It's history.